one of the most beautiful places in this country where a fatal virus is spreading this morning, a virus that has just killed a third person. And right now, scientists are scrambling to warn tens of thousands of others who recently visited Yosemite National Park. ABC's John Muller is on the story. Hi, John. Good morning, Dan. This has gone global. U.S. health officials have sent warnings to 39 other countries that their citizens who stayed at the Yosemite tents may have been exposed to a potentially deadly virus with no cure. Thousands here across the U.S. also being warned. Throughout the park, warnings posted. Park rangers flagging motorists as they enter, but the greatest danger could be to those who have already left Yosemite. Tens of thousands now at risk. This is possibly the greatest uh, point cluster which has occurred certainly uh, in the United States that I'm aware of. So far, eight people have come down with the Hanta virus. Three of them have died in states as far flung as California, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia. And there could be more cases as far away as France. The main outbreak traced to the popular Curry Village campsite where rodents burrowed into tents. Now a second campsite in Tuolumne Meadows red flagged. Warnings like these went out to 10,000 people who visited Curry Village since June. Late this week, notices went out to an additional 19,000 Tuolumne visitors. 29,000 recent park visitors in all, all being warned about the Hanta virus symptoms. They include fatigue, fever, and chills at first. They quickly give way to coughing and breathing problems as the lungs fill with fluid. And tourists are worried. I actually had a mouse run across my head. Definitely scared me pretty good. The only way for somebody to contract hantavirus is by breathing in viral particles of mouse feces and mouse urine. And that being said, it has to be in an enclosed area, somewhere where there's not a lot of ventilation. Now, warning the visitors in question is crucial because it's easy to think the initial symptoms are just a common flu. While there's no cure, early detection through blood tests increases survival rates, as does intensive care supervision when a life is on the line.